We are going to practice meditation right here. Now the idea here is that everyone has what I call a bucket, a bucket of awareness. And the more you practice mindfulness and meditation, the bigger that bucket gets and the more tolerant you are for uncomfortable feelings and uncomfortable thoughts and experiences that go on in your life. It's really that simple. And when you can do that, there's less of a need to eat because of difficulties. And I like to tell people, and there's a lot of truth to it, that <clears throat> the more you meditate, the more you see the underpinnings of your eating difficulties because they come to light. And you're showing yourself that you can tolerate these things, you can be with them, and then there's less of a need to have it play out in your relationship to food. So I'm going to start by doing a meditation. And all of you are welcome to join me in this meditation. For those who may not know how to meditate, I'm going to give a little bit of instructions on how to do this. It's pretty simple and straightforward. When we meditate, we want to be in a room where the door will be shut, that we will not be interrupted. We don't want a cat or a dog in the room. Okay? We don't want to be too cold. We don't want to be too warm. We don't want clothes that are tight. We don't want to have to go to the bathroom. We basically want to be comfortable. We want to sit in a chair that offers support so that your back is straight. It's not rigid, but it's upright. So you're not leaning back, you're leaning straight. Feet on the floor and your hands could be either at your sides or on your legs, that's no problem. Your head is forward and we just gently close our eyes and that's pretty much it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start the meditation by using these bells and then when the meditation comes to an end, I will ring them again. So here we go. I'd like you to sit with your back straight, feet on the floor and just gently close your eyes. What I'd like you to do is just bring your attention to your body. Just focus on anything you want. It could be the sensation of your feet on the floor, your body in the chair, a sense of soreness or tension in your body. It could be the sense of gravity swaying your body slightly, could be noticing your hands, feeling your hands on your legs or on the chair. It doesn't matter. Just bring a sense of awareness to it. And we're not thinking about it, we're not talking to ourselves, we're just being aware of how it feels. And now I would like you to bring your attention, the flashlight of attention, to your breathing. You can focus on your nostrils, your chest area, or your belly. And we just want to notice the in-breath and the out-breath. We're not trying to control the breath or manipulate it in any way. Just let the body breathe on its own. You may even hear the breathing going in and out. 
It doesn't matter if the breath is heavy or light, fast or slow, whatever it is, is fine. We're just trying to anchor our breath, our attention on our breathing. Just riding on the wave of the breath as it naturally is coming in and going out. As you do this, you will notice that your attention will get hijacked by your mind. And all of a sudden you'll be drifting off into some thought. That's fine. It's not a problem. That's just what the mind does. And when we realize we are no longer anchoring our attention on the breath, we just gently come back to the breath. We don't need to judge ourselves, get down on ourselves. There's nothing wrong. This is just what the mind does. And with a sense of gentleness and compassion, we come back to the breath. Being present like this for some people feels uncomfortable. They feel antsy, they feel agitated. Whatever you're feeling, see if you could befriend it. See if you could be all right with it and be accepting that whatever it is, that's what makes this moment as it is and it's all right. You don't have to run from it, just be aware of it. Ready, just gently open your eyes. It is a precious gift to be present. And most people don't even know that they have the ability to do it. And that's where meditation comes in. And there are profound benefits to meditation that can help with our stress level, with our eating, with what's going on right now in our lives, with our ruminating thoughts, with our worry, it can calm all that stuff down. By just being present with it and having a sense of acceptance of it, it just simmers down all by itself. Mm -hmm.